welcome back to my channel so today we are going through another week with my hair type video i'm just gonna take y'all along with me for the week with my hair <laughs> so today we are fresh on day two hair literally washed my hair yesterday have not touched it today at all so this is how we are looking with a good wash i know the last video was quite a fail and honestly right after that video that entire day i sat in my house didn't do anything and my hair just continued to poof up my hair was in a puff back in one for that entire rest of the week so i had to come on here and showcase what a really good wash remind y'all what a really good wash looks like on my curls which is this if you're wondering what i used i'm still using all the products in my current wash and go video where i did like how to get your wash and go to last a week especially in the summer like those are the same products that i'm still using whenever i need a bomb wash those are my go-to so if you haven't seen that video you can check that out today your girl's glams out because i'm getting ready to go to kim's birthday dinner your girl she came through texted me and said look we're gonna celebrate my birthday and we're doing black tie y'all a whole thing how to go shopping if you guys are interested in seeing the rest of my outfit and stuff that's all on tiktok and instagram but for right now we gotta deal with this hair and i'm kind of as usual <laughs> in typical this fashion i'm already late so i'm gonna have to go through and do this really quickly so day twos are usually my day to just kind of crunch out this cast a little bit we've got some really nice curl definition and shine going on here so we love to see that i have a really cute dress and it is like a spaghetti strap dress but it like shows it's like v-neck it shows the girls the girls are going to be on display tonight <laughs> but i'm thinking for black tie vibes i think i might do like some statement earrings so what i might do is kind of i feel like this vibe is cute on the side so i think what we're gonna do today is kind of just edge control i think i'm just gonna add a whole bunch of edge control here to slick this back and then just kind of leave it out honestly nothing too crazy so even though madam by madam cj walker the gel at least was a fail for me um they have this really nice edge control brush it's like bristles on one side but then also like hardcore silicone bristles on the other side as well and then a pointy edge mm, i think this is about to be my new favorite edge control brush just got all the things that you need and it's actually really cute looking too some edge brushes are just ugly but this is cute and i like that For edge control i am using the kiss edge fixer with max holes okay because we need all the holes we can get i'm just gonna go ahead and dip my brush directly in there and then we're just literally going to swoop these edges y'all not like that oh no i just frizzed out the front of my hair so we lay it down swoop it back Ooh! oh my god okay this brush might not be my favorite anymore <gasps> you know what this end is getting tangled as i'm like swooping it back it's getting tangled in my hair so maybe i don't like oh it keeps happening Nah, I can't do it. I'm switching to my good old, ugly, but effective edge brush. Dang, I really thought, like, I was excited for that to be my new favorite edge brush because it's so cute, but mm -mm. the double-sided just is not working for me. So I'm taking the comb at the end of this one and gonna kind of just create, like, a sharp line and then comb down. So this is where you're gonna get real dramatic edges. So again, dipping into the products because I like to use a lot. <laughs> when I really want these edges laid. And then we brush downwards and swoop, swoop it in there. Boom, that looks so good, nice and clean. All these frizzy hairs that just got frizzed out by that other brush, I'm just gonna take them and tuck it under. Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. How would they know? They're gonna know. She's a TikToker now. I make TikTok references. <laughs> Are we gonna do one more swoop? Ooh, yeah, that's cute, that's cute. Okay, we're gonna do one more swoop. One more, just, and we swoop you back. So then I think the last thing that I want to do is just add a little bit more volume, but I feel like a good slick edge just gives you a good slick edge. So now we just fluff. This is why 
my favorite thing on wash day is to make sure that my curls dry with a hard cast because I know by day two, my hands are gonna be all up in this thing, fluffing her out. And if the gel can't stand that, then the gel ain't for me. Oh, this is cute. Oh my gosh, I love having, like redeeming myself with a good wash after a terrible one because whew, that last one was actually one of the worst wash and goes I've had in a minute. And I wasn't expecting it either. Okay, boom. So literally that's it for my hair today. Ugh, this is this came out so good that it's making me think like maybe I shouldn't cut my hair. I've been itching to cut it and reshape it. And now it came out so good. So I'm like, ooh, but I kind of like how it is right now. Let me know in the comments. Should I reshape something different and then come back to this? Like let it grow back out to this or keep it going like this? Let me know what you think in the comments. All right, y'all, day three. Woke up like this, literally. Uh, we have a couple of frizzies on top. I'm getting ready to go to brunch. I'm literally gonna try and slap on a face really quick. So for hair today, honestly, I think if we just mousse this frizzy bit and fluff the rest, we should be fine. These edges are still like semi laid from yesterday. So I'm just gonna kind of tuck it behind my ear. Little uneventful for day three, actually. I think I'm just literally gonna fluff. I'm not even gonna smooth over any frizzies. I don't care right now. Um, also, I'm late again. <laughs> and boom, that's it. That's all we need. Let's see if I can quickly throw on a little face. I'm gonna use, I'm using the Tower 28 Sunny Days um, skin tint. It's a mineral SPF. SPF 30, so good. So I just like to kind of rub it into my face. I know this is a hair video, but might as well show y'all what I'm doing on my skin today too. So I literally need to be out the house in two minutes. So I rub it in kind of messy, add a little bit of vitamin C setting spray by Urban Decay. And then I take a brush. Where's my brush? Where's my brush? And then I take a brush and blend it all in. Okay, for brows, I am going to use the tinted Kosas Brow Gel. This is literally five minute no makeup makeup. I'm gonna do one little tiny dot of concealer. Oh my gosh, that makes such a difference. And then we're already almost done. I just need blush and some powder, and that's it. Throw on a little bit of gloss. I don't even have time for mascara, and that's okay. So yeah, I think we're good to go for brunch. Day three here, looking good. Working with the frizz, the little bit of frizzies on top. I'm okay with it. Boom, okay. that's it. On day four, my weekend was so eventful. My weekends are never usually this eventful. The curls are still pretty intact. There's just a couple of frizzies on top, which we did already start to see from yesterday, but I didn't even bother to um, refresh at all. So for the gym, it's super simple. I just use this thing. I find that this disrupts my curls the least and gets it out of my face and then I'm able to work out, bro. I still have not washed out this edge control and it's still kind of just chilling in there. Yeah, so far, this is what we do for the gym. That's it. Y'all, when I tell you I like to keep things simple, I mean I like to keep things simple. That's just how I do it. Okay, so I have just done my makeup. I have not touched my hair since the gym, so let's go ahead and deal with that. So first up is always to just Shake it out. And you see, this is why I love to do like headbands or whatever, just get my hair back because this allows for minimum curl disruption and minimum shape disruption as well. So we just kind of fluff a little bit. Y'all, this wash is so good. If you have ever wondered like why I love that wash so much is because of this right here. Look at how good these curls are lasting. I'm obsessed. I want to see if we can go until Friday. Today's Monday <laughs> and I washed it last Friday. So I'm like, I really want to see if we can stretch this a full week. And I genuinely think we can if we keep going along this way. 
So what I'm gonna do is basically do like the same style we did two days ago when I went out for Kim's birthday. I'm going to re-slick these edges and we're gonna smooth down these little frizzy bits at the top and then that's it. I just love me low maintenance wash. This is the theme of the whole video. How low maintenance can we make our natural hair maintenance? All right, so let's start by dealing with these and literally all I use is mousse. This is one of my favorite <laughs> mousses as you can tell by the fact that it's already almost finished. So this is the Cream of Nature Moisture and Twist Curling Mousse from their Pure Honey line. This is the bomb because it's moisturizing and stuff but it also leaves a little bit of extra hold behind. So it's not just a mousse for like a one day refresh, like this will get this curl in formation for the next couple of days. So we won't have to worry about it again. So yeah, super frizzy. Then I just take a pump of mousse and comb it on in there. And literally all we do is just smooth. This is naturally breaking up into two curls here. I'm gonna finger coil just a little bit. And boom, frizz wear. Like it's literally that quick and easy. And I love that for us. It's really not that much frizz. I'm having to like search for the frizz. Okay, we'll do this part here. Same thing, smooth and finger coil. And the frizz is gone. I'm telling y'all, there's literally nothing better to refresh your curls than mousse. You get the extra hold, it's very effective, but then also the great thing about mousse as well is that it just, dries super quickly so you're not stuck with like a weighed down elongated curl for very long like it's gonna dry really quickly and we're gonna be all good to go in like two seconds all right so here we are up close and personal this part is gonna be tucked behind my ear in a second so that's not really gonna matter i do have a couple of frizzies like underneath here in the front but i'm not too bothered about those today so that's basically it for our day four. Man, it's simple. So I do have a dinner on Wednesday with the girls, um, Casey with a K as well as Casey with a C, Kim and my best friend Emily is here. So we're all gonna do dinner and stuff. So I'm trying to think ahead from right now, like can I actually keep this wash going until Friday or should I wash again tomorrow, which is Tuesday? But I think, we're just gonna go ahead and just try to finesse it, you know? Cause I wanna look cute, but we'll finesse it. We'll make it work. And then all we gotta do now is deal with these edges because there's prior edge control in there. I just gotta spray it to kind of break that down a little bit. And then we just reapply. The edges are like already in formation. So it's gonna make this really quick and easy. Boom, and that's it. All right, y'all, it's day six. I feel like we've officially today made it to the end of this wash. I did skip yesterday for day five because I literally didn't do anything with my hair except for sweat it out with this headband in there. So it is looking a little crazy. It is frizzy. It's, it's honestly like not terrible but it is giving like day six please wash me um but like i said i have a dinner tonight and i want to get cute it's dinner with the girls little mini girls night so we're gonna need to figure something out immediately so let me tell y'all something one of my favorite things like this is gonna be a must have okay if you need to finesse at the last minute you don't have time to wash or energy to wash whatever it may be what you need in your arsenal at all times a ponytail extension honey a good ponytail extension that you can rely on that whenever you put it on it just mm, snatches you up so i like a really long one i believe this is 22 inches don't quote me on that i'll link it in the description box below in case you guys want to check it out but there is nothing like a good ponytail extension that will literally snatch you up in a few minutes and i love that for me so i'm going to show you guys how i apply it and how we're about to go from messy and needs a wash to baddie with a ponytail 
Betty with the inches. So just filling my spray bottle with straight water. I'm gonna start by spraying that in my hair first. Wet hair is just a lot easier to style and it also adds a little bit of moisture for these thirsty curls. And I'm really just spraying this everywhere. Ends, roots, front, back, middle, all over. Okay, I'm also gonna go in with this Brio Geo Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture 3 in 1 Leave In Spray. The main reason for this is smell purposes. Like I said, your girl's been sweating. So, this is really for, yes, additional moisture for my curls, but also give me some really nice, fresh smelling curls as well, please. You gotta hold us over until we can actually wash. <laughs> it literally smells so good, like a, a green smoothie. I love it. It's nice and sweet, and it just smells fresh and clean, which is what we're looking for. Okay, so I am actually going to apply this slightly differently from the way I have applied it in the past. I've seen other girls, like, because I really don't feel like going through and detangling my entire head of hair. Ain't nobody got time. Like, I literally don't have time. So, what I'm going to do is part it and do something that I've seen other girls do. And this is the way they get it really nice and slick and neat looking without... Like, why not? Let's just give it a try. Boom, so I've kind of parted out like the top half of my hair. And what we'll do is we'll clip this up and then clip this back on top of it. Literally never done it this way before, but I think, I think we're gonna be successful. I think this is gonna give me exactly what I'm looking for. I'm gonna go in with this. This is amazing. Okay, this is a gel pomade by Bumble and Bumble. It is silicone free and everything, but it's literally like a hybrid between a gel and an edge control. So this is the consistency of it. And so it's like not as thick as an edge control, but like it's still got some good thickness to it. And I just, I've really been loving this product for this exact reason, slicking my hair down. Not only does it like get the job done and like the consistency of the product is amazing, but it also leaves a really nice, beautiful shine and the curls, like the slick stays in place. So I really love this. All right, and so then I'm just gonna secure this first part. I think this is gonna be the height of the ponytail. <laughs> Hirsch, please stop. Boom, I'm also going to smooth down a little bit of extra pomade on top because I'm not playing any games with this hair today. Boom, so now we basically do the same thing for this front part. So we spray, start to brush. We're literally just brushing it back into the same ponytail that we just created. We add the pomade again. The trick is to not skimp on the pomade, period. Use as much as you need, girl, and then some. And then now we're grabbing both ponytails together and look at the slickery. Look at it! It looks so good. Yeah, the girls were right about this. I should have been doing my ponytails like this. <laughs> And I'm just gonna loop, loop it and leave the ends in. So we have a cute little teeny bun. Wow, just putting my hair back like this. Look at how my face has changed. Snatching me already. Okay, so this particular ponytail comes with this Velcro. We'll stick these into the top base and then wrap this around. And that's it. It's like literally so quick and easy. Look, it's happening already. It's happening, who is she? <laughs> Apply the pins, take the hair, and wrap it around. All right, so once you're done wrapping, just pin that hair down and that's it. And now all I do is just spend some time finagling this to make it look a little bit more natural. See here, if it lifts up too much, that's the bun. No bun, bun. So, to finesse a little bit and make sure that when I'm out, like nothing crazy is gonna happen, I'm gonna push this here so it stays in place and is concealing the bun. So we just do this and then kind of just pin it a little bit. So she's gonna stay right there. You see what I mean? I could literally wear a t-shirt and shorts right now and be snatched because the ponytail said so. I love a good long ponytail. Y'all can't even see the end of it. <laughs> I 
think we're good to go. How long did that take? Like, not even 10 minutes. And we're snatched. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on my makeup and then I will come back and show you guys the final look for a week with my hair. I mean, we're ending it on a strong note. And boom, and boom, she's ready, she's ready. I gotta head out and yeah, it's wash day is probably gonna be tomorrow. So that's basically gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm planning on doing more of these a week with my hair videos, different variations of things that I do with my hair. Maybe um, I'm gonna pick like another week where I have more hairstyle inspo so we can get into specific hairstyles and stuff. But comment below and let me know if you did enjoy this video. And if you made it all the way to the end, you are a real one and I love you, girl. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. I will catch y'all on the next one. Bye.